Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm sharing with you a cook and clean with me video. As you can see right here, Ren was actually messing with the tripod. That's who I'm talking to. So it's just me, Ren, and Ethan here. Delaney is actually, she went to her grandmother's house. Um, Ethan is sick, so I let her go over there for a little bit. She wanted to go over there anyways. Anyway, so it's just us here. So I am starting to clean up my kitchen. This is mostly like a kitchen cleaning video. I am about to cook supper and I want to get the whole kitchen clean before I cook, get everything off the counters. Just kind of put everything away from our day today, putting Delaney's lunch packs up, um, unpacking Rin's diaper bag and all that good stuff, getting all this stuff off of our table. As you can see, our window is open. We've had a really busy week cleaning and stuff like that. So we burned our fireplace for the first time since we've even bought our house and for, i don't know it was just the ventilation was not good and our whole house has a terrible like smoke smell so we're just kind of let it air out opening up our windows and just doing a lot of cleaning and cleaning and th just things like that so i uh, go ahead and i'm gonna just go ahead and start cleaning up the table and all that wiping everything off And before I start supper, I like to go ahead and unload the dishwasher and start loading it. And that way I can get kind of a clean start with everything. Go ahead and get the sink cleaned out. Get the whole counters just wiped off and all that before I start some supper. Just make sure everything's basically just clean. Brian got really hungry so I went ahead and gave her her supper because she normally goes to bed pretty early tonight she went to bed at about seven o'clock so she ate an early supper so she could get in bed and that way I could finish cleaning everything up and get our supper started Tonight, I made the two ingredient dough. If anybody's ever heard of that, I'm sure a lot of people probably have heard of that, especially if you're doing Weight Watchers. So it's basically just flour, self-rising flour, and non-fat, or I use non-fat Greek yogurt. And to make it, I use a half of cup of each, actually a little, like slightly less than a half a cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, and then it is so good, so delicious. This is this was actually my first time making the pizza. I've made different things with it, but it's the first time I've made the actual pizza. So you mix that and just mix it in a bowl really well. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and put some flour on the counter and just kind of knead it. And knead it about 20 to 30 times before you press it out and put it in your pan and all that good stuff. So like I said, this was my first time making pizza out of the day, so I wasn't exactly sure exactly what to do, only I just remembered, I remember a couple people talking about it, so I went ahead, sprayed the pan just in case it sticked, which it didn't, especially with the spray, it did not. So, and then I flattened it out and I pre-cooked it for about 10 minutes.
while my dough was pre-cooking I went ahead and done a little bit more cleaning and I'm out of my favorite glass cleaner because I actually use this to clean our couches today I had like a half a bottle and it, I used so much to just clean our couches really well today so I'm gonna have to go on the grow site and order some more so right here this um, is pizza sauce or actually just any just like a marinara sauce that I froze it's a recipe on daily dose of pepper .com. And it is so good. Zero Weight Watcher Smart Points for as much as you want, but it's so delicious. And as you can see there, I was actually scanning the uh, cheese bag to see how much I can have for so many points. This is Ethan's pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and do his toppings on his. I actually had this pizza crust already that I had bought at the store. It's like one of the pre-packaged, I don't remember the brand name of it. So before it went bad, I wanted to go ahead and use that. Although I think he would really enjoy the two ingredient dough as pizza, as a pizza crust as well. So when I let my pizza crust cook for about 10 minutes or so, I flipped it just because that's what I've heard to do. I don't know if you necessarily have to flip it. So I flipped it and then added my toppings and it cooked for probably about 15 to 20 more minutes after that and it actually came out perfect it was so so good Ren was then ready for a bath once I got done with cleaning and putting our pizzas in the oven. So I went ahead and gave her a bath so she could get in the bed. By this time, it's probably about 6.45 or so. So I went ahead and gave her a bath. That way I could eat while she's in the bed and Ethan could eat. And that way I just get her bath out of the way. So yeah, this pizza was so, so good. I highly recommend it if you've never tried it. So the last things that I do is what you see here, go ahead and get the dishes done, clean up after supper, wipe the countertops down. I normally sweep once at the end of the day and that way it'll be ready for the next day. Um, that way I have a clean house in the morning time and that way it'll be ready to go again um, that morning and then that way I can finish my routine that evening as well. These bottoms that I'm wearing are so comfortable and they are from Pink Blush and I know a lot of you have probably heard me talk about this company before, but they are so comfortable and I just love the quality of their clothes. So I'll leave the link below. This video is not sponsored. And of course, I can't end my day without doing laundry. It's an everyday thing, at least one load a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys in our next one.